G'day folks, Ben from Snowy's here today with a BioLite base charge 1500 portable power pack. Get it. This power pack's got 1500 watt hours of power, an inverter with three AC outlets, a built-in MPPT controller, and a really easy to read display. Before we dive in, we've got loads more content like this on our channel, so make sure you like and subscribe below. Now let's jump into the product. Well, first up, dimensions of the base charge 1500 is 36.7 in length. It's 31 centimeters across this way and 20.9 centimeters in height. Weighs 12.1 kilos and it's made from a bit of a plastic material all around. This is all plastic, but it feels like quite a durable plastic. Bit of a tour around the outside. You've got nice big handles here, which also double as a vent to cool inside. Nothing to see on the back. The other side, same vent that you've got under there that also doubles as the handle. On the top, we've got just a big panel here with the wireless charging port, which we'll show you a bit more on shortly. And then the business area on the front here with all the plugs and display. In the box with the base charge, you get a 240 volt adapter here that plugs in in the front of the unit. We'll show you more on that shortly and you get the unit here. Now I'll do a bit of a tour around the front just to explain all the ports first. Firstly at the top here, buttons on each side of the display. This one turns the display on and off. The one on the other side here resets the watt meter or watt counter, which is on the bottom here so we'll start with that one at the moment that's telling us that we haven't used any power out of the battery as we plug things in and start using power that counter will go up if we want to reset it back to zero we'll use this button to reset it that will also change to show uh, indicators like when a charger is connected it gives us uh, predictive warnings like when the battery is getting cold and also gives warnings like um, ac power overload and, and other things on there as well as we move up down this side, you can't see them at the moment, but there's little warning signals that will come up on here if um, something uh, goes wrong with the battery. And there's also at the bottom, we'll show you that uh, shortly when we put the wireless charge on top, a little light lights up there. So the top left hand corner here, how many hours there are till it's empty. Now that's going to change depending on how much power you're pulling out of the battery. The state of charge of the battery at the moment, we're at 100%. And this one here shows uh, input and output watts. So on the top there, we've got how many watts are going into the battery and how many watts are coming out. So we can charge and power at the same time. So we'll go into the battery and charging the battery first. So inside is a 1,521 watt hour lithium iron nickel manganese cobalt battery. Now that equates to about 70 amp hours at 21.6 volts or about 125 amp hours at 12 volts. So it's a decent sized battery in here and that's charged by two ports on the front here. Now this one here is where our wall charger will plug in. So that charges at 12 volts and 10 amps so or 120 watts and it's gonna take about 13 and a half hours to about 80%. On top of that, on the opposite corner here, there's a USB PD, which is USB power delivery, and that charges at anywhere from five to 20 volts and up to five amps. So we can actually plug both of these in at the same time, and that's gonna reduce the charge time down to about eight hours. Now on top of that, you can use solar to charge this as well. So you need to plug the solar in here. So you'll have to use BioLite solar panels that have got this same plug on there, and you can chain up to four of their 100 watt solar panels together. So it'll take 400 watts of solar at 20 amps max, and that'll take about four hours to charge with 400 watts going in. Now there is a built-in MPPT controller, which is a maximum point, maximum power point tracking controller. So you don't need the solar controller between the solar panel and the battery. You just plug the solar straight into this unit here. Now onto all the outputs of the battery pack here. So firstly, a standard cigarette port here, 12 volt, 10 amp output. Then you've got two uh, five and a half mil barrel jacks, which suit a lot of uh, LED light bars. Next to that, two USB-A and then two USB-C, that's five volt, three amp outputs there. And then you've got the USB-C PD or USB-C power delivery, which gives anywhere from uh, five up to 20 volts um, and up to five amps output for that one there. Then underneath that, built-in uh, inverter, a 1200 watt inverter, which gives a 2400 watt surge and you've got three out AC outputs there and it's a pure sine wave inverter. So it gives a pure sine so you can run three appliances off of this up to 1200 watts. On top of that, we've got a wireless charging port uh, on the top of the unit here. So put your wireless equipped device in here, wireless charging device, and that'll charge it up. And I'm gonna show you all of that now. First thing we'll do though is plug the, the 240 volt charger in. So easily oriented with the black and the red there, plugged into this port here, we plug that in and the light will go on. The display will change by, depending on what's going on. So that's saying charger connected and this switch to hours to full. So that's showing with no hours to full because it's 100% charge. Zero watt hours used and it says battery full. So nothing's happening even though that's charged, that's plugged in there now. If I unplug this, it'll flick back to hours to empty. So it's telling us we've got 99.9 .9 hours to empty. 
Still says battery full, but now it's flicked back to the watt hours used. So I'm gonna leave this plugged in because what we'll see when we plug stuff in the front here is these will sort of play around as this delivers some charge and the other units pull charge out. So next thing I wanna do is plug a 12 volt fan in. So this is just a standard 12 volt fan. It's got three settings, uh, probably pulls up to about eight watts. We'll plug this in here um, and we need to turn each of these sections on. So there's a button at the top here with the DC. Same with the USB here and the AC down here. So to turn each of these sections on, we press the button, those lights go on. Now I'm not gonna use those, or I'm not gonna use the AC, but I'll leave the USB one turned on. So we press that again to turn it off and I'm gonna turn the DC one on. And then I'm gonna flick the fan on over here. And what we'll see up the top here is it'll start to use a few watts there. Now as the battery starts to sort of drain down, this will change a little bit. Oh, there we go. So it's, it's obviously the battery's just coming off a full charge now and it's showing that there's 65 watts going in, four amps coming out. So you can keep track of how much you're using. It's got an eight watts coming out, 12 watts going in. So there's kind of a balance there. I'm gonna plug a few more devices in. I'll just leave this fan on low, which goes down to two watts. And I'm now gonna grab this is just a portable power bank that we can charge via the USB-A ports here. So I'll plug that in to that one there. And the watts have jumped up to five watts now. So it's charging here and it's showing, can't see over the top, 59 watts out, five, uh, 59 watts in, five watts coming out. Still saying zero hours to full. So we're really still working with a full battery here. And on top of that, I'm gonna use the wireless port on the top here. So got my wireless equipped device here. I pop that on the top, that connects and starts charging. And you see the little blue light that appears in the bottom right hand corner there, tells us that wireless charging is active and that's charging the phone at the top there. And that charges at 10 watts. So we've now got up to 14 watts, it's changing a little bit, depending on what the devices are doing. 59 watts going in, 11 watts coming out. Now that watt, uh, counter at the bottom there is gonna update based on how much you're using the device. You can keep a really close track of the power inside the unit here. Now to give you an idea of what this will run, because the AC inverter will use a bit more power, you can run a 12 volt fridge from the DC ports for probably about 40 hours. Um, you're gonna be able to run, or you probably get about 20 charges out of a laptop. You can probably run a full, like a, a full size fridge off of this depending on what power consumption it has, but probably for about a day. And you can probably run a power tool, like a corded power tool into this, depending on the, the, the consumption again, but probably for about 60 minutes. Probably a better thing to do with your power tools though is to charge the battery and a bit of a guide over what batteries this will actually charge. If you're trying to charge a battery that's smaller than the battery inside here, then you should be pretty right being able to charge that from the Base Charge 1500. So that is the Biolite Base Charge 1500 Portable Power Pack. A really neat unit, heaps of power and a really user-friendly interface. If you've got any questions, let us know down in the comments below or check them out online at snowies.com.au where you find them at our lowest prices every day.